Many greenhouses in Massachusetts are using biological control to manage pests. Uh, I've asked Carrie Stafford from Cavicchio Greenhouses to share with us some of the information that she's learned and some of the things she's doing with biological control to manage pests in their greenhouse ranges. Here at Cavicchio's we use biological insects as well as beneficial nematodes. We usually order our biologicals straight from BioBest. Um, we can order them I think Thursday's our cutoff date, so we can place an order for the next week as late as noon on Thursday, which is a really nice thing to have. That way we can monitor our crop and throughout the week if we're seeing insect problems or a hot spot of spider mite, which is one of our favorite ones we see around here a lot, um, we can put an order Thursday by noon and they'll get it in. We'll have it by Wednesday the next week. So this is Wednesday and we got in a new box today to open it, see what we got in. These are all also packed on ice, well insulated, so we just like to open them as soon as they come in and check to see what we have and how it came in. And then from there we'll move them to where they need to be or I'll hand them off to who needs to use them and we'll go from there. This week we are getting in, let's see, we get in tubes of Amblyseus cucumeris, which we'll put directly onto our plug trays in a teaspoon for when um, cuttings are coming up for thrip control, and they'll do a really good job, and it's just one scoop directly in the middle of the tray, and it goes onto every single one of our prop trays. We usually mix them into a bucket. Um, they come in these tubes now. They used to come in a bucket, so we'll put five tubes in one bucket, and we'll actually mix in Phytocelius in with them, just for a little extra spider mite control. So we've got some of these guys. Just stand one out for you. We actually like to store them on their side as opposed to standing them up, because um, if you stand them up, they compact them too much and they'll, they'll die, you'll lose more. So we'll usually store them just like that. Let's see. These ones come on ice as well. We check the ice pack just to make sure it's still frozen too, which it is, which is good. We get in a small pack of beneficial nematodes from them, and this is what we use to dip our cuttings in. This is equal to a 10 gallons of water, so we have a nice 10 gallon tub that we mix it in with that. And here's our, uh, our phytocilius. We try and use these pretty much as soon as they come in. If not, we'll store them in the fridge for a few hours, but they're usually best right when they come in. Usually when they come in, we'll just unscrew the lid and check. We'll either sprinkle some on paper just to make sure there's some moving, but usually you can tell if they're doing well if you've got a bunch right in the lid crawling around, and that's our best test that we use just to make sure there's some in there. With these guys too, we usually open up a box right when it comes in, pour some out onto some paper, and just to check to make sure there's a good number of them crawling around, which you can do like that. And we just sift through it and watch, and you end up seeing a bunch of them just crawling all over your piece of paper. So when we have uh, spider mite issues, we'll use phytocilius, especially if we have hot spots, something really easy to bring in. You can sprinkle it around. So we'll just take the bottle as soon as they come in and we'll unscrew it. And on the hot spots, we'll just broadcast sprinkle it just like that. And it usually does a great job of controlling the spider mites in that area. That way you don't have to do a full spray on everything or even a spray on those spots. They just come in and go for it.